Good morning, everybody. Today is another Monday, and what does that mean? Crumble cookies! Yep, they got five this week, plus the mystery flavor, so we're going to be sampling six. Are we ready to go? Yes! All right, let's get going. Let's get those cookies. <laughs> got the cookies. Now we just got to take them home and try them out. All right, so we have six cookies this week to sample. Check them all out. So our first cookie this week is the lemon cupcake cookie. It is a lemony vanilla cookie with a swirl of lemon frosting and a touch of white sprinkles. All right, second on our list this week is the peanut butter cookies and cream. This is a combo of chocolate and peanut butter with a sweet crunch of cookies and cream bits. All right, third on the week, third cookie for the week is the original featuring M&M candies. This is a, looks like a plain cookie with crispy M&M candies on top. All right, you guys might have an idea what our fourth cookie of the week it is. It is the strawberry ice cream bar. It's a strawberry and vanilla stuffed cookie with whipped buttercream and crunches of the strawberry vanilla streusel on top. All right, so our fifth cookie of the week is the Sugar Shark. As you can see, this is a special tribute to Discovery Shark Week. It is a soft vanilla sugar cookie topped with a creamy swirl inspired by Shark Week with blue vanilla frosting and two little gummy sharks on top. All right, everybody, our last cookie of the week is the Mystery Cookie. Now, in our area, we got Coconut Cake. So it looks like it's probably a vanilla cookie with maybe it's a definitely a coconut swirl topping, probably a buttercream and definitely topped with coconut. All right guys, we got six to try for this week. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, let's try the sugar shark. Ooh, Ooh. it kind of looks like look at that. Sharky. Scramble egg. Sharky. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Cookie is soft. Mm -hmm. The broth on top is really good. Very light, but airy. Mm -hmm. The frosting is a really good frosting. I'm pretty sure it's just regular frosting with like a blue coloring. But really good. And that gummy shark is delicious. Mm -hmm. I like gummies. <laughs> awesome. Let's go with the lemon cupcake. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Ooh, that butter comes dead butter. Some sprinkles. Oh, I'm going to so mm. mm. You gotta mm. taste the lemon. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. The lemon hits, hits you right away. Mm. Because the cookie is very soft, but that lemon. You, you, only, you, you only need to take a second and you still get it. Yeah, you get it. You, you can eat it. It just has a lot of lemon flavor. It's not too much or not too little. But it's, it's not like you're like, so lemony. It's like a lemon cupcake. Mm hmm. Like a. Alright, let's try the MM. I'm excited for this one. It's like a normal. You can see the MMs in there. You can see them. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's a hard cookie. It's not even soft. That's pretty good. You get the nice, um, flaky, um, cookie flaky with top. the N and M's, and it gives it color because you can have different types like yellow, red, green, blue, purple. I don't know. The, the cookie purple. gives crunch, but then also the M and M because because I wouldn't like it if it was like. Well, I also like because I like M and M's, but yeah. it'd be weird if you have a soft cookie with hard yeah. M and M's. That's why I see like most places that have. Um, M and M cookies usually have soft, um, um, hard cookies. So I like that, it's a hard cookie. Good job, Crumble. <laughs> Good job. All right, let's go with the coconut cake. This is, I think, the mystery flavor. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, the coconut. Well, I can see why it's this because it's like a mono beef. Yes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Look at that flavor of coconut. With little coconut crumbles, gives it extra coconut and crunch. The cookie tastes like a little bit, 
it was basically like coconut extract for some reason. Yeah, it does. It's, I it's, taste a lot of coconut. Them. Like a lot of coconut. I know like the buttercream of Boston has coconut mm -hmm. in it. Coconut taste on the top, definitely. Looks good. But the cookie might have it. I don't know. I might. But it just tastes so good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Chocolate, peanut butter, cookies, and cream. Oh, this is a big one. See, it's huge. It's huge. Mm. Crunchy, yummy, soft, delicious. So, <coughs> you taste peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah, definitely. And then you taste the, the peanut butter, and delicious, the chocolate is awesome. The cookie, since it's hard, I'm mm, so good. Delicious. It's amazing. It's by far very, very good. Last one strawberry ice cream bar. <coughs> I'm gonna start this one. Look at that. Looks so good. I think so. So I taste like an ice cream bar from school. That is so good. That is amazing. With the really tasty cookie sauce. I think it's like a shortbread cookie with the icing. A little pop of little, little like crystals. Without words, that is delicious. I mm. feel like they grabbed that ice cream bar and then just like crushed up like the outside of it and just like put it onto the cookie mm -hmm. because it tastes so good. And that frosting. Mm, With little like um crunchy things, you get the hint, hint of um strawberry. So good. All right, what is your favorite one? The strawberry one. Ah, and what is your favorite one? Strawberry. Awesome. Thanks, boys. All right, we got tiny chunk time. Yeah. Go for it, guys. Tiny chunk. Down the hatch. Down the hatch, and you also hit me. That's Sorry. all right. Nice job. All right, first cookie for this week. Um, you want to just go ahead and get the shark cookie out of the way? Yeah, uh, the boys I know had the uh, fun little gummy shark, so let's just get that one and do it. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of gummy, so we let them have that, and it's probably just their basic sugar cookie, so I'm not expecting much out of this. Just a pretty blue one. I'll let you pick which one you want. I'll take the smaller one. Okay. Oh, it's crumbly, that's for sure. Yeah, they said theirs was too. Oh, cheers. Cheers. It's soft. Lots of vanilla. I think it's their normal pink sugar cookie. Yep. That they have every week. It's just blue icing for Shark Week. It feels like it. So, but sugar shark cookie. Week. If you love it, you love sugar cookies. And you love gummy, so you would probably love this. Kid, this is probably a kid favorite for this week. So. It is, and they had to do it this week because <laughs> Discovery. It is Shark Week. Yeah, I, so. don't, I don't know when they like. Did they pick Shark Week because this is the week that sharks are active and bite people? I, I think sharks are active all the time, but um, <coughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess this is this is Shark Week, so I love it when stores and restaurants kind of you know pay a tribute to fun things that are going on in society and things that are on TV. I think it's fun. I like it, and I love it when stores do that. So kudos for them. Yeah, but I'm not seeing like Outback do a shark fin. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. They did their stuff for Shark Week when they had like a whole bunch of shark themed food. So, like what? Great Barrier Reef shark attack? Well, I don't remember, but I do know that we went there and I had this really herpy sweet drink and. Oh, you're talking like last year where it was no, like it was blood like, in the water. And it was it like at the beginning of the summer, so. I don't know. Well, overall, okay cookie. Not, it's a good cookie. Not my favorite. It's definitely a kids themed cookie yeah. for sure. But again, kudos to Crumble Cookie for coming out with a cookie for Shark Week. I have a cookie number two this week. Uh, but before we start that, if you didn't notice that we did all in our attire this week, we did try to all do something fish related with our clothing because it is Shark Week. The kids had sharks on their shirts. I have Dory from Finding Nemo. And you have 
Marlon and Dory on your shirt. So we all tried to get into the fish theme for this week, trying to play off of Shark Week. So you give me too much credit. I literally walked into the closet, said, "Oh, that's pretty," and put it on. That that's all my thought process. And then everyone matched me, I guess. So kudos to them. I just went and got dressed. <laughs> um, we all try to have fun. Sometimes. Um, Let's go with the M&M &M cookie. I knew you were going to do that It one. doesn't have a topping Icing. on it. So. I want topping and not just like little M&Ms. All right. Well, I'm going with this one because it's got an M&M &M in it. And you can see there are M&Ms throughout the cookies. Yep. There's so a lot. So they are loaded with M&Ms. Now, they so. said this was a crispy M&M. So is that like a... I know they have crispy M&Ms and I know they have normal M&Ms. So I wonder if it is actually the crispies or the normals. We'll have to find out. We'll have to see. Cheers. Cheers. It's crispy. I love the crispy M&M's. Those are good. Mm -hmm. It's crispy. It's not the normal ones. It's a little bit bigger. And it gets yeah, I was going to say they are bigger. Get a little bit of the um, thicker. crispy one. Those are good. I mean, look at the size of those. So you can definitely tell those are not normal M&M's. Yep. Now, my favorite M&M by far is the peanut. I, I love getting the, the bucket from Sam's Club. And just grabbing like a handful and throwing those back. I, I literally could eat that all day. That's so good. But, I, I thought it was a really good like, cookie. Yeah. That's a really good cookie. I mean, yeah, it's a good flavor. It's a classic cookie. So, I mean, good. loaded with M&M's. And I think it was a good idea to do the crispy M&M's. Because the cookie is, it's not like a sugar cookie where it's <coughs> soft <coughs> in texture. It does have a little bit of like, what's the word I'm looking for? It does have a little bit of firmness to it, like a harder cookie. Yeah. So it's not necessarily a soft sugar cookie, which is great because you need that crispy to go with the harder cookie. Yes, yeah, definitely not so, a soft baked cookie. No. It's got some thickness to it. But it's good. You get the chocolate. You get the crispy from the M and M. I, it was a really good cookie. I liked that one. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, I I feel that they're definitely going towards the kid dynamic this week with the shark M and M's. And then, the, for all intents and purposes, the Good Humor Strawberry um, Ice Cream Bar. Uh, but, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, we'll have to do that one here in a second. But that was a good cookie as well. Good job. All right, next up this week, you know what? I am getting the tropical vibe right now with the lemon and the coconut. I'm going to go for... Chocolate? No. I'm going to go for the lemon cookie this week. Lemon cupcake. Lemon cupcake. This one I'm excited about. I think we've done this one before at some point in time. Yeah, but I feel like you need something refreshing and citrusy. And it's summer, so you might as well get a citrus cookie in there. You love lemon. I Cheers. love lemon. Cheers. Mmm. That is lemon, lemon. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. It's... The bottom is just vanilla cookie, like a cupcake. Uh -huh. And then the lemon icing on top, which is, if you love citrus, you would love this cookie because they definitely wow it with the lemon factor. It's like pow, pow, lemon you, tart. You love lemon. You you would love to have just that icing just by itself and kind of put that on other things. It's good. That's where all the flavor is at. It's definitely in the icing yeah. for this one. Um, it, it's really great flavor all throughout. And lemon icing to cookie, completely covered cookie, which is great. Yep. You get icing in every bite. So it was super good. Yep. And I I appreciate this one. Like sometimes they'll have the lemon cheesecake where they throw a little piece a of wedge. lemon on there. And I'm like, I, I, I'm not going to eat that lemon wedge. Just putting the white sprinkles on it was good enough for me. It's a part that everybody will eat. Hopefully. All right, my choice for the fourth one, uh, I'll go with, uh, let's do the chocolate. Okay, sounds good to me. Other than the M&M, I think this is our only other chocolate cookie. Yeah, it says week. chocolate, peanut butter, cookies, and cream. I see chocolate. I do you see a few? I see peanut butter. There are a few peanut butter not, morsels in there. Not seeing a lot of cookies and cream, so we'll see how this goes. Well, I mean, it is a chocolate cookie, so it's hard to see Oreo I, on top but, of a cookie. But cream, I should see like the white creaminess. I don't think they were going for that. Well, don't, don't call it cookies and cream. Well, let's give it a whirl. Cheers. Cheers. It's a crunchy cookie. It's a harder cookie. 
I had to get a bite of the peanut butter. It is the peanut butter. It's definitely a darker chocolate cookie. Yeah, that one, that one mm. can use some icing. I feel uh, that one like there, there needs to be a nice balance of chocolate and something in there. Like with the M and M cookie, that one had a different kind of texture, flavor with the M and Ms, which balanced off of it. This one just really, to me, seems like chocolate, 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 hint of peanut butter. Now, I would have loved to have some sort of like icing, like have a cookies and cream icing on top. I think that would have been really good. Well, but then if you do an uh, icing on top, then you don't notice the cookies and cream. No, I think I would notice the cookies and cream more. Or maybe. Because I don't, I don't get cookies and cream at all in this. Or, all I get is chocolate and then hint of peanut butter. Or you do your cookie with the peanut <coughs> butter chips in it. <laughs> then do your little icing on top and then put the cookies and cream cookies on top you would definitely see the difference uh, I would just like to have a little bit extra this one felt like it was missing something for me you definitely get chocolate in this I feel like <laughs> this is a drink uh, an drink. overabundance of chocolate you definitely need a big glass of milk after this cookie in my opinion it's a lot coffee. of chocolate like I almost feel like it's more like a darker chocolate yeah it feels like it. it's just like a dark chocolate cooking it, I mean yeah they add the peanut butter into it but I don't, it's not enough to deviate from the chocolate it's, way it's not too super sweet either Nope. So, if you thought this was going to be a sweet cookie, it's not very sweet. Nope. So, if you don't like sweet, this might be your cookie. Yeah, if you just want to have tons and tons of chocolate, could be it as well. All right, fifth one this week. Where do you want to go? Well, we're coming down to home stretch. We only had two, two to choose from. That's that was correct. a tongue twister. Um, I get to choose? Yes. And that basically it says you are also choosing the last one, too. You know what? I'm going to switch it up. We're going to go for the mystery cookie this week. And we're going to try the coconut. So. All right. Now, I know um, whenever you get to pick the mystery cookie, you can kind of see where all the other mystery cookies are in relation to you. And that's cool. But at the same time, that's cruel. Because. I know. There's other cookies that have Because I see some good some ones nice that are cookies. awesome. And I, I see how much it costs for gas. And I see. I'm not driving the, 50 miles. The mileage. 77 miles to New Jersey. Just for that really good looking cookie. <laughs> Who had some good cookies this week? There was a wedding cake. Somebody had wedding cake. Peanut butter um, and jelly. That's a good one. Red um, velvet cake. Oh, with the white chocolate chips on top. Yeah, there were a lot of good ones. I wish there was a way to, you know, mix and match. Like, hey, you know, can I have a box of all mystery cookies and just have them be really cool ones? Who was the one that had that interesting one? It was the strawberry with lime. Yeah, there was one that had like a uh, strawberry limeade with featuring nerds. That sounds amazing. I'm hoping all of these cookies eventually come here because there was probably about 72 flavors across the country that I haven't yet to try. Yeah, we have not tried cool. them yet. And yeah. I'm like, wow, why didn't we get those? <laughs> I understand that they can't do every cookie all the time because then I would be humongously large because I would be like, I'll take one of everything. Okay, sir, there's a hundred for you. <laughs> well, I'm hoping pina colada comes back to our area. That one I thought- You have like, coconut cake. That's kind of like pina colada. Yeah, but see- You're getting close. You got the pineapple with the coconut and you put it together. That's-, but that's... Just remember, coconut, it gives you like- I'm hoping this will give me my pina colada vibes. Far, like far away on a- Island I'm vibes. Island. It's given me three weeks of kind of thinking about something. But we'll, we'll but talk about that. Right. Are you ready? Yep, let's give this one a try. Cheers. Cheers. This is our mystery. Definitely a soft cookie. Is definitely the same cookie as the Blue Shark. No, you don't think so? Mm -mm. The cookie's got coconut in it. That's oh, fine. yeah. It's a lighter cookie. It's a denser cookie. If you look at the difference between now the I two. Now I have to sit here and look at them. Yeah. See, they look almost identical. I don't know. If it is, they're 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 blowing my mind because it tastes like it's got uh, coconut in the cookie. I mean, this is the identical. To me, it looks like an identical cookie. Just the coconut one seems to have come up a little. It rose a little higher, but. Yeah, mine looks a little bit different, but that's all right. I mean, I really it's a like soft that icing. Cookie. That icing is awesome. Well, maybe if we just try it without. Mm. I have too many flavors in my mouth. I can't tell. 
I definitely feel like they used the same cookie as the shark cookie, but they could have added coconut to it to That's enhance nice. the coconut cake taste. I like it. Like, the only reason I say that is if you look right here. No, I think it's toasted coconut. Yeah, I know they add the coconut on the icing afterwards. So the fact that there's coconut here on top of the cookie tells me that they cooked yeah, they, it with there coconut. Yeah, there is coconut in the cookie. Yeah, so, that's, that's what I was saying. I could taste the coconut. But it's the, the same base well, as the shark Yes, cookie. but they added coconut yes. to make it a coconut cookie. To make it a coconut cake cookie. And CCC. It, that one's good. I really like that. I, I enjoy coconut. I'm like a big fan of German chocolate cake. It doesn't give me the... the Chocolate vice, but I get the coconut that I like from them. So Ooh, it, that icing, mm, that's just yeah, as good the, as the, the lemon. Icing, that one's better than the lemon. Well, that and it packs really as good. much flavor as yeah. the lemon. You get lemon with one, you get coconut in this one. And then you get coconut in the cookie, you get coconut in the icing, and you get coconut on the top. This is definitely a coconut cake cookie. Definitely summer vibes. Lemon coconut? No, I'm not. Actually, that probably isn't a bad idea. You could probably do that. Yeah, nothing says that you can't combine cookies. Like if you if, just, if you just kind of like if, if my squish them together. If my chocolate one didn't have the icing I wanted, and I don't really like the sugar shark. No, I wouldn't do that either. But you get what I'm saying. Cookies are cookies, and you can do them any way you want to. Every way is right. I actually like that idea, the lemon with the coconut. Maybe that'll be a different channel. Trying crumble cookies and making new flavors. Mix and match. Like Pringles. Barbecue pizza, barbecue pizza. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Now we're going to the last one, which is effectively your favorite ice cream bar. You always ask for the strawberry shortcake good humor bar. I love them. This is like a childhood classic. You always would run up to the ice cream truck like... Which you don't see them around too often anymore nowadays, but which is sad. Um, <laughs> I was at football practice the other night and one came by my car. So they they are out and about. Well, not where we live. So, <laughs> but still, I do miss like ice cream trucks. It was one of those things when I was growing up as a kid, the ice cream truck man would come to the pool. He would come to your house and it was either the good humor guy or the Mr. Softy with the... Um, the twist. Wasn't that what he was called? Probably where I grew up, it, it was a really broken down shack of a thing. And, and you wondered, is that ice cream or is that guy trying to kidnap me? So okay. we typically didn't go up to the ice cream man because there was too much stuff on the news and it wasn't a good thing. Okay, so, back in the 80s so and the 90s. What I would do is go to the uh, local like little liquor store, which also had candy. And they had ice cream, and I would go and get the... Who uh, took you to the liquor store when you were a young kid? It was walking distance. It, it was basically the local, like, Quickie Mart thing. It, it was called Hardee's. It was out in uh, California. Not to be confused with the Hardee's restaurant. No. Fast food chain. H-A-R-D-Y apostrophe S. It was uh, run by a, a couple, and his name last name was Hardy, but... Uh, I would always go in and get the Snickers ice cream bar. That well, was, I mean, even that I good. used to do that, but I would go to what they call 7-Eleven, 612. No, we, we had uh, uh, AM, PM. I mean, even we have those out here, too. No, out here, often, that's the West Coast. So you would either go for the good humor truck or you would go to Mr. Softy. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. You got the cone and then you got the soft serve and his little head was like, a face and his hair was like the dollop of the soft serve and you could either get strawberry or chocolate or blueberry it, it was a very rare instance when they would come around because they only had so many flavors it wasn't like a true good humor truck which had like umpteen amount of popsicles and ice cream bars to choose from so you effectively consumed an ice cream man's face that's so mean all well, right. aren't all under the cookies? Aren't all food characters people you can eventually eat? Hey, Tony the Tiger, <laughs> get over here real quick. I'm gonna eat you. I don't think you'd say that's great. <laughs> but I mean, like you think about it, all of these like food characters you eat. Lucky Charms. Nope. Cocoa Pebbles. Nope. What about the McNuggets from McDonald's back when, like, the 90s, where they were the little McNuggets with their sneakers? You eat chicken McNuggets? Yeah, but you ain't eating Ronald McDonald. Okay, back to the cookies. So, as you can see, I, I just crippled your cookie. 
Absolutely. As you can see, this one is stuffed with um, a strawberry filling. I'm trying to read. Um, <coughs> it is. It's a vanilla strawberry stuffed cookie. Yes. So you got more stuffing on my piece than... Okay. But anyways... Right, you got a lot of toppings on yours. You have a big chunk right there. Make sure you get that. But your like the strawberries on this side. I know. It didn't go all the way to the edge. Well, do you but... want this one then? No. Because that one's got a lot. No, I'd rather take and the crunch. And I'll take your, your crunch. I'll take the crunch. Okay. All right, fine. We'll switch. Okay. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Even though I crippled my own cookie because I knocked half of the streusel off. You did. But I'm excited about this one. Let's right. see. Cheers. Mm. Getting the crunch from the streusel. I'm a little disappointed. It tastes like candy bar to me. I don't get very much strawberry. I get a ton. I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there it hit me. Yeah, I got it. All right, I got it there. All right, it took me a while. Maybe I had more icing then. You probably did, but that the, the cookie the is really inside, good. inside, yeah. I had to wait till I got to the inside to get that strawberry taste. Yeah, the inside is really good. That is definitely strawberry vanilla cookie. That's yummy. Icing is really good. Mm. The topping on top. Gives it that extra dynamic. Um, so that that's a great cookie. That's a home run right there. Now that I taste it again, <clears throat> you have to get to that pink layering, I feel like, to get the real strawberry taste. I wish it would have been a little bit more in your face strawberry, like no, uh, it, it is exactly like the good humor. It bar. is, it really is, but until you can get to that hard center of the pink good humor bar, you don't really get that strawberry taste until you get there. Well, that's why you just grab the whole cookie and throw it in your mouth. Uh, that'll be what I do when I'm not taste testing and I'm actually just enjoying the cookie. All right, now with all those cookies, you know what time it is. It's time to chug. Mm -hmm. Got my nice little Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. You know, I should have gotten a 100th anniversary cup. Did oh, they have well. coffee cups there? I thought they did, but... Well, I'm sure they probably did. I don't know why you didn't. You were there. I was going to say, there was a lot of good cookies this week. And another six-pack that we tried. They're on the hatch. We need to go back to just the four-packs. I don't know. It's summer. People are off. Let's go ahead and continue the six to eight cookies. No. Okay. We got to deliberate. We will come back and let you know how they rank. Who made our top picks? All right. We have deliberated. Two have made the overall list in really good positions. Uh, four did not because there's just a lot of good cookies on there. Uh, but let's get into it. Number six this week. Sugar Shark featuring Shark Week. Yep. Don't care that it's Shark Week. I'm sorry, that is just a basic cookie. If we could do something to like jazz that up a bit, I think it'd be better, but it's for kids, so. It is a kitty cookie. It is what it is. Um, not really much more can be said. On to number five for this week, which was? The peanut butter cookies and cream. I had to think for a second, because I was like, which one did we say was five versus four? Yeah, that one, had it had icing, I think would have gone higher up that list, but it didn't, so it won't. I mean, I, I, I thought it was a really good cookie. Again, if you don't want something that's overly sweet, but you still want a good chocolatey cookie, like a darker chocolate cookie, a little bit of peanut butter taste. There was the cookies and cream. Like I said, you can see, if you take a look at the top of this cookie, you can see the cookies and cream that are sprinkled and falling off my plate onto my table right there you could see the cookies and cream that was on it so it for, was there for me to have cookies and cream you got to be able to see the cream just because i crumple up an oreo cookie and i can see the chocolate part of it if i can't see the cream it's not cookies I and cream i think they needed a textual difference between hard cookies and cream and a hard cookie i think they just needed something different instead of another hard item. i need the cream come on let's get some icing on this thing uh, coming in at number four was... The original featuring M&M's. Crispy M&M's, I should say. Yep. Yeah, I mean, love M&M's. They're not bad at all. Uh, turkey was good, but two cookies that needed something extra. Let's get a little bit of icing I on the thing. I thought it was a really good cookie, though. I love M&M's. That I is probably see. my go-to as a candy when I'm going to the movie theaters. I want M&M's. Peanut butter M&M's are mine. Love those. I love peanut M&M's. Icing. Yes. Uh, on to number three. 
the lemon cupcake cookie. Yep. Great cookie. That was wonderful. Um, I love the summer vibes with it. Lemon's it great. Lemon taste. It was great. It was a very good lemon cookie. Yeah, crumble cookie. You checked off the list for this one where I got to have fruit in my cookie every week. I like to be punched in the face with sweetness. I got that this week. So we got some uh, stellar reviews this week. Really good job on what you had. Number two was the mystery cookie the coconut cake cookie for those I of you out there it. another man. tropical cookie for the summer yeah i feel bad for those of you who don't have that near you that is a fantastic cookie um if you are within driving distance of a coconut go get it it's really awesome now mind you there are going to be people to say i hate coconut i don't like the texture then of don't it. go get it don't but, get it but coconut this was fantastic for those of you that like coconut for those of you who want to feel like you're on that beach three weeks those of you who really want to feel like that, this is what you do. Go get this cookie. It's a soft coconut cookie. I wonder if they could, you know, do they have a mounds? I'm sure they have like a, like if you put a chocolate cookie together and put that on top. That's mm. what I wonder. I wonder if you could get the taste of a mounds cookie. I'm sure that they probably have that. We haven't come across it, but they've done Butterfinger. They've done Reese's. So I would not. M&M's. Whoppers. Yes. Yep. So I'm sure that's Heath coming. Heath Bar Toffee. And from that one, you now know which is number one this week. Which the was the strawberry ice cream bar. Yeah, that full of nostalgia, right there. Great tasting cookie. It's pretty. <coughs> Great tasting icing. I need more milk. And a really good topping on top. It was it was beautiful. I mean, <coughs> the cookie. It's covered with icing. It is completely covered with that strawberry streusel. Like you almost thought, ooh, am I going to get enough streusel, or is it just going to be like a boop? And that's it. No, it was completely covered with streusel. So great proportion to ratio. It was soft. The inside with that strawberry, you have to get the pink strawberry inside to get that strawberry taste. It reminds me of a strawberry pinwheel cookie. For any of you that ever had parents that did that for the holiday where you have the pink and the vanilla together and roll it, it reminds me of that cookie a lot. It's really soft. You taste the strawberry, you taste the vanilla. That by itself, great cookie. And then when you add the other two elements of it, the, this is a home run. The, um, they are both good. Coconut uh, actually made it to number 10 on our list, which was really great. This one went all the way to number five. It's a Bring great cookie. Bring back the childhood favorites. Yeah, it, it's a great cookie. I mean, Crumble Cookie, you did it this week. We really enjoyed them. But those two, you could have just had those two and we would have been happy. <laughs> that, those, that was great. You would have upset the sharks. All right, and that'll do it for us this week. Uh, everyone enjoy the cookies? Yep. Oh, yes. How about you, Figgy? Oh, that's right. He, he said no. Uh, we, we loved them. Great job, Crumble Cookie. But for us, as far as we're concerned with the cookies this week, Ben. There. Done that. See you next time. Bye. Bye.